We are going to <clears throat> begin our worship this morning. Um, as we bring our songs to him, um, I'm just thankful that we can that we can all be here and that we can um, sing with one another and lift our praises to him as he is good. Um, as we just set our hearts on him this morning, I wanted to read <clears throat> a bit from Romans 5. Now, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our suffering, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Um, <clears throat> so as I was putting together songs for the set, um, just focusing on hope, the hope of heaven, the hope that we have um, because of Jesus, that he is... Um, that he is with us, that the Holy Spirit is with us, and that um, no matter what we are tackling, no matter what we're facing, it is not hopeless. We are never hopeless as his people. Um, so will you stand with us? We'll raise our voices to him.
before the throne of grace Majesty before my eyes I'll let him take my breath away
is our living hope. Amen? Amen. And we gather together, and we are to take the Lord's Supper every time we gather together to remember that He is our living hope. In Psalm 107, it says this, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord proclaim that he has redeemed them from the power of the foe and has gathered them from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Some wandered in the desolate wilderness, finding no way to a city where they could live. They were hungry and thirsty. Their spirits failed within them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He rescued them from their distress. He led them by the right path to go to a city where they could live. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all humanity. For he has satisfied the thirsty and filled the hungry with good things. Lord, as we prepare our hearts and minds to come and remember your work, we thank you. We thank you that once for all you have provided a way for humanity, a way for all of us to never thirst again or go hungry again by your body and your blood that we take in this bread and cup together. We remember this, Lord until you return. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And come take communion with me to your right.
dissolve like snow the sun forbear to shine but God will call me here below will be forever mine you, Lord. As we take tithes and offerings, I'm just reminded that it's because we are his um, that we truly have freedom. And it's because we are his that we can have freedom to worship in this way and um, to sing our songs and to give our time and to give our hearts, um, to give of the resources that he's given us, to worship freely without fear. Um, in light of eternity, just knowing that um, everything we are doing, we are building his kingdom. So God, I just pray that you would build your kingdom through us. Lord, um, may we worship you with everything that you've given us. May we be stewards of what you've given us because none of it is actually ours. And Lord, we just need reminding of that um, to know that we are yours. We just give to you freely, Lord. Thank you for the freedom that you've given us. Yes. In your name. Amen.
You deserve the glory, Lord. Amen. May the glory be yours. May your name be lifted up yes. this morning. Yes.